Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And to everyone else, thanks for coming back. So we are gonna do some gray and white coasters tonight. I have been seeing these coasters that, where the coaster looks like it's almost foggy. So I bought some resin dye and uh, I'm trying that and I used these two let's see if you can see it onyx I guess that's Picasso I don't know white and onyx and mixed it together and made the gray and then I put some of the white in here and put a little bit of the um, card no, it's Pearl X, the Micro Pearl. In here, I just wanted it a little bit shimmery. So here we go. I made some resin stuff last week and it was not wanting to get, it didn't get hard, but I was weighing it. Then found out <laughs> that one is more dense than the other. So I used the um, scale after I just put it in the measuring cup, 200 and 200 and yeah, one weighed 195 and one weighed 236. So I was like, wow. That's why it wasn't getting hard. So I'm not gonna do that again. I think I put a little too much in that one. Let's see what happens. kind of an experiment to see how this works out with the black color versus a little bit of the micro pearl so we will see what happens I'm gonna put a little of the silver flakes in here. Hope this doesn't. Oh wait. Let's fill these up.
Sorry about the silence. I'm so bad about when I'm doing something and concentrating, I can't talk. <laughs> it's the only time I'm not talking, I can tell you that. Okay. I don't want to fill these all the way up because these are those thick molds that I don't really care for, but I love the shape. Um, so I don't fill these all the way to the top and they look like they're pretty similar, except this one, a little bit more. Turned out really pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That one is beautiful. I hope this does pretty, pretty effects. I wasn't sure about the, I've never used the resin dye before, so I didn't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm not even close to time. It must be hot in here. Or cold in here because that's yelling up. Check my hair real quick. All right. Ooh, yeah, it's 72 degrees in here, so it's already trying to set up. I had videoed the marble ones I made for my sister-in-law. Oh my gosh, they were they were insanely beautiful, but it took so long because I used three colors. Well, they were white, and I did the marble with three different grays. And I made really metallic silver, silver out of a spray can, and I used the popsicle stick to, you know, 
make all of the streaks myself. And it took so long that I was having to heat up each one so I could finish it before. <laughs> yeah, it took forever, but gosh, they were gorgeous. I actually have a picture of those on my my Instagram. If y'all want to look at my Instagram, it's South Coast Art underscore by Jenny on Instagram if you want to follow me there. I always upload pictures and on Facebook. Uh, it's South Coast Art by Jenny also. So, all right. Well, I think these are beautiful. Let's see. And I will end up painting the sides of these silver. I have a piece of hair. These little pointy, uh, I don't know, they're some type tweezers, are the best things at getting the hairs or bubbles. See, that just popped. Um out of your resin without messing with the, the, the composition of them. I love them. Let's see. Yeah, this is seriously gelling up. Let's see. I'll make sure I don't have any more hairs in there. I hate, 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 hate when I do not notice a hair. I won't, I won't sell them. Nothing. I give them to family if they want them when there's a hair because I'm not going to sell it like that. And so I wasted so much resin because I didn't see a hair. And that bubble is not going to go out of there. For some reason, oh, and by the way, I'm using Stone Coat's Art Coat and... I've noticed that it has got so many air bubbles versus my, uh, the Naked Fusion that I was using. And it doesn't have nowhere near the air bubbles, but it's heat resistant is not as high. Ooh, it's not as high as Stone Coat. So it's really driving me crazy. But I just bought two more gallons of this, um, actually the art coat and two gallons of the um naked fusion so i'm gonna do another set of these tomorrow with the naked fusion just to see about the air bubbles and because it's been a while since i've used the naked fusion but i mean there is literally a ton of bubbles and they just don't want to pop i'm putting this right on it it's not popping i don't get it We'll see. All right. Um, that's it. And I will show you the finished product uh, after this. So, thanks for watching. And I hope that uh, you liked what you see and you like and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time. Bye, y'all.